before I start this video, guys, one of these games I'm showing are missing. I've been holding off making this video because I can't find the game. I still can't find it. I'm like, screw it. I'll just tell y'all what game it is in the beginning of this video. I'm missing Grand Theft Auto 4. And by the way, as you can see, this is my Xbox 360 collection update for 2019. Now, it's not only Xbox 360 games, which I got a lot of. There's going to be original Xbox and Xbox One. So, yeah, I'm going to start in order from how they came out and show my original Xbox. Because 360 is going to take up most of this video. Spider-Man 2. Platinum Hits. I played this game once on this channel. Y'all seen the gameplay on this channel before. I like took the camera, pointed at TV, and be like, I'm playing Spider-Man 2. I don't have Spider-Man PlayStation 4 because I don't own a PlayStation 4. If I own a PlayStation 4, I would probably do a PlayStation 4 collection. I don't own it. Unless I have Microsoft. But there's the disc. Spider-Man 2 is a really good game. I'm almost completed with it. Like, I've been playing this on my 360 because it's backwards compatible. And I'm almost beat this game. By the way, before I bought it on 360 to play it backwards compatible, I never played Spider-Man 2 before. Grand Theft Auto 3 on the original Xbox. This looks like kind of a custom case, but it's not. This is actually a licensed Microsoft case. It's the Xbox collection version. There is a different version with a different picture on the front. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which is also in the black case. And this is Vice City's... Well... This comes from a place that I go to called Computer Plus. And... I think these cases... It's glued. It won't come off. But I think they're like printer paper. Yep. Feels like printer paper. But I don't care. I got the cover. I got the game. I got the disc. Even You could still read the font on the back. Now, I had Grand Theft Auto 5 on Xbox 360. And I took it back to the place because... It was cracked, but that game was all blurry on the back. You couldn't read a single word it said. I would play GTA 5 for you, but it broke. And then Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the second edition. This is the edition that doesn't come with the map. There's the side and by the guys. You know me. I want to do this to my games. This was like this. Oh, y'all have been watching me on YouTube. It has Big Smoke, I think that's his name. I've, it's been a while since I played San Andreas because I've been playing Vice City recently. Where you play as Tommy Versetti. In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you play as Carl Johnson. And this is the official Xbox case. Like, it's official. You could tell it's official because it's not like the other ones and stuff. Now, oh my god, I recently got into these games. I bought almost every single one. The rest of these are in my Xbox 360 collection. But, Halo Combat Evolved. The very first Halo game on Xbox original which I'm playing currently this is my current original Xbox game I'm playing I want to play all the Halo games before the next one comes out and then there's Halo 2 it would show the back but it shows the address of the place hold on
There's the name. Not because she's in her dress, but there's the name. Xbox. It's a white logo. You can tell it's just the disc or there. I'd put this case thing. And look, guys. Right, it's a rated E logo that is scribbled out. It's funny. But it was originally, the disc was on top of this without the sleeve. I added the sleeve to it. But at least I got the disc. And then I got. Call of Duty Finest Hour. I'm going to get Call of Duty Big Rev 1. They have it. I'm going to get that game on original Xbox. And the... Instruction booklets. The way they should be. So, yeah. Call of Duty. Everybody knows Call of Duty. Black Ops. Black Ops 2. Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. Yeah, almost everybody knows the Call of Duty game. Also, here's a controller I use. It's a Halo Reach. I'm not going to show my Xbox One controller and stuff. I don't want this video to be super long. But anyway, Batman Begins. i never seen the movie. I own all the Batman Begins movies. All, I mean, well, all the... Christopher Nolan Batman movies. But I played it some and it's good. So that's it guys for original Xbox. It's a small collection but will grow in the future. And I'll do more Xbox collection videos. Now, here's Xbox 360. Lego Indiana Jones, but that's not all. Because on the back is Kung Fu Panda. Come to a Kung Fu Panda. There's the disc for Indiana Jones. And there's the disc for Kung Fu Panda. And but look, God. There's actually something good about it. They came with their own separate manual. So it makes it feel like it's an old school game. The big, fully colored. So that's. Xbox 360 game number one. Then I got NHL 09. I think I do have another NHL somewhere else. But NHL 09. This wasn't a dummy case, but I don't like. I kept the dummy cases for these ones because I don't have any other 360 cases to replace them with. Like, how am I supposed to put them in something like this? So. With the sleeves and stuff. So I put this one. Since it didn't have a sleeve. A real sleeve. In here. Splinter Cell Double Agents. There's the disc. Look. It's great. NCAA Football 09. I would last, guys. If after I upload this video and it's posted fully up on YouTube, I find my missing Grand Theft Auto game. Grand Theft Auto 4. Here it is, the other NHL I got. EA Sports, NHL 2K8. It's alright. Not really that fan of hockey. Face Breaker. This is an awesome game. They have a meme thing called like Face Breaker 1, Face Breaker 2, Face Breaker 3. But this is the original. Like it's a vine thing. But this is Face Breaker. Not that. And I hope they make a sequel to this game, because I freaking love it. I know people probably hate it, and they're like, Dude, why do you love that game? I just love it. It's my opinion. 
Okay. I gotta find the other one because this is basically a series. So, let me find it. Um, where is it? Easy. Oh, there it is. Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, I know there is Assassin's Creed 3 remastered out now. I'll probably get it if I see it at Walmart because I'm not, I know digital games won't hurt a person. I'm not really that much of a digital fan. I like discs. I like to have disc games. I mean, all my Xbox One games mostly are disc. There's disc one and two. I freaking love Assassin's Creed 3. It's like probably one of the best out of the Assassin's Creed games I did play, which wasn't that much. I don't have that many Assassin's Creed games that I actually played. I played three, a little bit of two, some of Black Flag, Play Brotherhood, Revelations, Origins, and that's basically the Assassin's Creed that I ever touched, and probably parts of Rogue. There's Assassin's Creed Revelations. I have played this on the this channel before maybe I should get back into playing it because I have like eight of those gameplays and it's been months since I made a gameplay of this game but from what I played of it which that was actually the last time I played it was those videos I love it Good. oh I thought there was two discs behind it I was about to say my GTA 4 See what it is. There's the disc. Virtual tennis for you. Come on, man. Bro, brown stick pro bowling. This is a connects game. And the funny story is, I did not have a connects. I got this on a holiday, and the holiday I got it on is not actually a holiday for. Giving gifts and stuff. Someone gave it to me on trick or treating. They gave this to me on Halloween. They put this in my bag. I was like, I'm probably the only person on Halloween that got a video game. Unless you went to GameStop on Halloween and bought a video game, then you got a video game for Halloween. And that was not like Halloween 2017. But this wasn't in the previous Xbox video, this was last year's Halloween. I hope next, this coming Halloween, I get an Xbox One or someone sticks a whole entire box with a PlayStation 4, brand new PlayStation 4, never been opened in a bag. If that actually happens, I could play Finance Freddy's Virtual Reality Help Wanted, I could play Spider Man, and I will stream them because Xbox PS4 streams, but Xbox One don't, which is stupid. Well, it does stream, but. Xbox One goes to Twitch and stuff. Darkness 2. The only Darkness game I play, but... This game got me into wanting to play the first one, because it was, for the longest time, my favorite game on the 360. Now, I think the original was on the original Xbox. The original Darkness game. Lego Batman, the video game. Which I bought this game twice. I got it on Xbox, got it on PS3, and I got it on Nintendo DS. Which I beat the PS3 version. But for some reason, the 360 versions, I don't like the controls. It's hard to beat. Oh, resin. Oh, Red Dead Redemption. But it's not Red Dead Redemption 2. It's Red Dead Redemption. Hold on, the cake's broke. Undead Nightmare. I will get Red Dead Redemption 2 because it 
when it goes down in price at Walmart, or if it's like, if they have it for like three dollars pre-owned with the case that kind of looks like this. Well, that looks similar to this, the pre-owned cases. I will buy that version of Assassin's Creed. I mean, Resident. <laughs> The Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'll buy the Red Dead Redemption 1 at Walmart that's like, you can put, put it in 360 or an Xbox One and it'll still play. You know what I'm talking about, it has Xbox, it plays on both consoles, which is actually, I wish they would do with all these games, every single Xbox 360 game, make them like that. That would be cool, I want to play NCAA. NHL 2K9 on Xbox One. College Hoops 2K6. Now, sadly, they stopped making these College Hoops in, like, the March Madness type games. But I have played these, and that's why I'm saying it's sad, because these are actually fun. I see why people like the NCAA. Well, it does say NCAA, but it's the NCAA football games. And here's seven... Which they changed the title up. So it's 2K Sports, College Hoops, NCAA 2K7. And this one actually has a manual. Now you're probably wondering where all these sports games come from. I think I told you in that Xbox original video. In the original Xbox collection. If not, someone gave them to me because well, I bought them. I didn't really know that there was basketball and stuff. I love basketball. Borderlands. Now, they are making a third game, which I will probably play it on Xbox One when it comes out. Borderlands 3 is what they're calling it. Now, everyone probably thought that the pre-sequel, just like me, I thought pre-sequel was Borderlands 3. But there is also Tales from Borderlands, so... Even if that was the third one, Tales from Borderlands, would, it would be 1, 2, Tales from Borderlands, the pre-sequel, 3. That's five games. There's five games in the Borderlands series. So here's two, which I don't have a sleeve to, it's just the disc. And then the pre-sequel. I'm looking forward to three, because I... I'm starting to love these Borderlands games. I don't know why. I play. People say they're bad, but I play them and I'm actually liking them. Need for Speed Carbon. I can carbon dioxide. I'm guessing. There's side and the back is ripped. That's why when I open it, it looks like an Xbox One game. So the disc can stay up over here. It's over here. It's because I don't like this. I don't want to see that rip. And I'm pulling the game out. I'm like doing a gameplay. I want to go like this. Not like. Rip. 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 Now don't be confused by the case. This is not a PS3 game. It says PlayStation 3. Sanctuary of God out of hell. But it's actually. Sanctuary the third. But I think. Scat out of hell is a DLC for. The third game. Nope, it's for the fourth one, I think. Which I do have, Saint Row 4. So you play as a president and stuff in this game. You can make people have big heads. This game is actually kind of funny. If y'all guys want me to play this for y'all... I'll type in the big head cheat and do a St. Rose big head video. Do y'all like that? Nope. Okay, I won't do it. Little League World Series 2010 Baseball. Now, this game is adorable. If you've seen the game called Splatoon, it's that kind of cute. It's like that. Like that. MM EA Sports MMA A boxing game for my Xbox. I don't care if it's like UFC, UFC 2, UFC 3. It's a boxing game. I kind of have a craving to play boxing game once in a while, so. 
There's the boxing game. Jurassic Park, the game. Na 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 na. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, so when my brother's girlfriend bought this for me, I was like, a new addition to the ever-growing Jurassic Park collection, which I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna delete that previous video that I have. I'm gonna make another uh, newer version. Basically, a 2019 Jurassic Park collection video. But this game is alright. I mean, I do like the graphics in the game, because the graphics are amazing in it. I hope they port this game to Xbox One. It is from Telltale. This is the only Telltale game I got because uh, it's got, uh, by the way guys, in this video, I'm not going to be showing digital games. I might make like a digital Xbox collection video soon. Which that will be a super short video. But, if they port this game to Xbox One, take out the bugs. Like, the character's father on here don't know anything about her life. So make it to where he's like, oh yeah, I seen you doing, studying that for that test last night. But did the teacher like it? Basically, don't make it a remastered. Make a dress part the game on Xbox One and remake the game. Or make a the Lost World the game. And then Dress Part 3, Jurassic World, Jurassic World the Fallen Kingdom game. Because I know this ain't a Jurassic Park collection. But I do have every single last Jurassic Park movie. So I got one. Jurassic World, The Lost World, The Lost World Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 3, The Secret Exhibit, The Lego Movie, Jurassic, The Secret Exhibit, Lego Jurassic World, Jurassic World, and Fallen Kingdom. Now I got the Fallen Kingdom poster. It's not, it doesn't say Fallen Kingdom, but there's blue on the side, Rexy in the middle, and a Stegosaurus with the volcano erupting. And it has the cracking logo, so you could tell it's Fallen Kingdom. Just by the logo cracking. And also, another Jurassic Park game I got is on Sega Genesis. And then for the Xbox and stuff. The Xbox One. So, yeah, guys, recently. Well, last time, last video I made, I told y'all I only had Battlefield Bad Company. Which was my introduction to the Battlefield series. I never played a Battlefield game before Bad Company. But here's the thing. That place that got the Halo and stuff. Computer Plus. Got me. A good thing. Well. It got me good. Well. It, I don't know what to say but. I got Battlefield 3. Which is. Broken. Clips are broken. And there's Battlefield 4 with Jeff Goldblum on the cover. Which in this case is actually good. Now there is another Grand Theft Auto. Sadly it's not GTA 4 but it's the GTA 4 expansion. Grand Theft Auto, Escape from Liberty, Episodes from Liberty City. That's all I got of GTA 4. Now, GTA 3 does take place on Liberty City, but in the older GTA games, you couldn't go and swim. You couldn't swim. If you go in water, except for on San Andreas, if you go in the water on 3 and 4, and probably the first two Grand Theft Auto games, you die. You just step in it and die. So, I wouldn't know if the Statue of Happiness is on there. But, like I said, if any of these games you want me to play, type in the name of the game and let me know. By the way, this did not come from Computer Plus. I bought this from GameStop. Nope, this was from Computer Plus. GTA 5, sadly, I mean GTA 4, sadly, was the one from GameStop. So, yeah, that's the first... Stack. There's more guys. 
Y'all are probably gonna be like, this video is gonna take hours. Deadpool, the video game. Now, guys, I am a huge fan of Deadpool. Let me get it down. I do have the movies. Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2, which I recently got Deadpool 2. But I already seen it before I bought the Blu-ray. So I got the video game. Not based off the movies. This came out before the films existed. So it tells you, are these comic book movies? And should you read the comics first? Because this is more comic accurate than movie accurate. Now, these other games... Are... Sports and scary games and stuff like that. Besides Darkness too, And also, Call of Duty 2. Now, if y'all... I deleted the blog on accident. But if y'all guys remember before I deleted the blog, my blog called Call of Duty 2. I completed this game, but I didn't beat it on 360. I beat it on Xbox One. So all the older Call of Duty seem to have long manuals. All the newer ones have the Declaration of Independence. FIFA World Cup Germany 2006. I've never played that game. Maybe if y'all guys want me to play FIFA, I might play FIFA if the fans want me to. Aliens, Colonel Marines. This game has beautiful graphics, and I, even though I haven't really watched the Alien movie, I do have Alien Company, Al well, Prometheus, and Alien Resurrection, which I still haven't seen those. I know what an alien is. They're called Xenomorphs. And they're from a different planet. So I do know the Alien franchise, plus I've seen Alien vs. Predator, and I've seen the Predator movie, so... Except for Predator 2. I still haven't seen Predator 2. I can't find it. I don't want to rebuy Predator 1, 3, and the Predator just to get the second one. But this game has good graphics. Like, there's screenshots of the graphics, if you could see that. So yeah, Anne and Colonel Marines, WWE 2K13 and 14 are the only ones I got on 360. And y'all probably remember seeing those from the WWE 2K19 unboxing if anyone ever will watch that video. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Um, thought I have it. Had it. Oh yeah. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I don't have Black Ops 4. I will get it. But I gotta go to... There's this place called Walmart. Which some people probably don't have Walmart. But that video called Checking Out a New Walmart for New Movies. Well, for... They have different DVDs video. That was a blog. I, they have Call of Duty Black Ops 4 there. For a cheaper price than at the one near where I live. It, there, it's like 50 to $60. At the other Walmart, it's like 30 So I could probably get Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And I'll do some gameplay. I'll probably play the Battle Royale mode. By using my crappy hotspot. If I ever use... If I have a hotspot, I'll wait. It's expired, but y'all can have this free code for the first Black Ops game. I have Black Ops 1, 2, and I already have 3. I have 3 on PS3, but I can't play my PS3, so I wanted to replace it with the 360 version. NCAA Football 2011. I don't have 2010. Y'all seen 2009, which is somewhere down there. Batman Arkham City. Dang, this game got 10 out of 10. 50, 
Uh oh, five out of ten. One of the greatest games ever made. Period. Five out of five. A must game. Game Pro said that. In game of the year. It's the game of the year edition. I do have that the Return to Arkham where it has you know, Return to Arkham, it has Arkham Asylum and Arkham City in it. But I only have Return to Arkham because that's the only one that I installed digitally. So it's basically the remastered. This game looks beautiful anyway. Why did they have to make a remastered? This game is awesome as it is. It doesn't need to be remastered. Batman Year One. I'm going to keep that and put that with the Batman one. I'm not giving away a code because it's a full link movie. It's inspired, but it might work. It's a movie. Movies are never aspire. If I do have the Batman animated movie, so I won't use that. It's Batman Year One. Okay. Xbox Live Arcade, this has some fun games on it. Especially Feeding Frenzy, that's an amazing game. I played the sequel on this channel. But it has Uno. Hey, the that goes in the I don't know. It has Uno, Pac-Man Championship Edition, Boom Boom Rocket, and... Luke Sir 2. The only game that sucks in this set is Boom Boom Rocket. You're, I like Guitar Hero type games, so I thought I would like it. You basically press the button, it tells you to. You know, like Guitar Hero, you press the buttons on the guitar you're supposed to. So I thought I would like it, but I hate Boom Boom Rocket. Now, we'll get that Guitar Hero Live that's on Xbox One. If I see it again for a cheap price. I have seen it at that place that I got. Halo the computer plus whoever I have seen it there so maybe I'll actually do a blog at the place like me buying my next well not me why am I saying me like a little kid of well I'm supposed to say me for this sentence of me buying some new games there because every two weeks I get to go there Minecraft the Xbox 360 edition which doesn't say Minecraft I will get Minecraft on Xbox One. But for now, I'm stuck on Xbox 360. Sonic Unleashed. Now, when I seen this at Computer Plus, I had to snatch it up. Because I had this game on PlayStation 2. And been dying to play Sonic Unleashed again. Because I remember it being so cool. Sonic being a... Uh, at night, he's a werewolf. And at day, he's a hedgehog. So I got the Platinum Hits Xbox 360 version of the game. Now the rest of these are Xbox exclusives. Gears of War. I could have got Gears of War 3 while I was there and Gears of War 2. But I didn't. I can always get them. And Gears of War Judgment. If this is all you have of Gears of War, then that's all you got. Because Judgment is a prequel to Gears of War 1. And there's my sorry attempt to scratch the code off. If you can make that out, you can have it. It's for Gears of War 1. Now, I will get the remastered Xbox One version. I want my Xbox One collection to grow. Cause look at it. It's small. And then, here is the rest of the Halo games. Halo 3. There it is. Their logo. If you want to search them, well, if you ever want to call them, there's their phone number. Just don't prank call them. Halo 4. I didn't buy this at Computer Plus. They had this, like, in a bathtub thing at Walmart. They have these, like, pool things with Xbox 360 games. I got this out of it. And it was in the Solophane, brand new. So I'm like, hmm, maybe, 
I got these. I got this before I got these on. Like maybe I was going to start a Halo collection. And look, I started a Halo collection. And Halo Wars. I played some of this game. Halo Wars is kind of actually the most repetitive out of the Halo series. And there's the code for Xbox Live. But it doesn't inspire. Oh God, why am I giving it away? Please, Rocky, please, Rocky. I'm, I'm censoring that. Okay, I'm not. I don't care about Xbox Live. So, guys, that was the my ridiculous, overgrowing Xbox 360 collection. And I'm a, and this is the 21st century. Well, the 21st new century, as I call it. And I don't have that many Xbox One games. Let me bring them out. Shall I? Here they are. Here's my other Lego, my other Jurassic Park game, Lego Jurassic World, which I do have on PS3. And I, but on the PS3, I don't have as much as I got unlocked here. Like on PS3, I don't have every dinosaur on this game. On the Xbox One version, I got every dinosaur. You got that code because I got that guy. And then recently, I did an unboxing while I got the game. I got Jurassic World Evolution. It's a... It, and y'all seen the gameplay videos. It's basically you build your own Jurassic Park. And it's a fun game. I love Jurassic World Evolution. And there is a Fallen Kingdom DLC on there. So maybe when I do decide to do a gameplay again, I'll do the... I'll call it like Jurassic World Evolution Fallen Kingdom Episode 1. WWE 2K16 on Xbox One. It's in a dummy case. Like, as you can see, it's the pre-owned case. But I put this thing from Battle... From one of my games. I ripped the back off because it had the logo on it. And I put it on there. Hold on, I'm trying to put these games in order. Kind of. WWE 2K17. So I got all the 2K games, as you can seen in the 2K19 video if anyone would ever watch it. WWE 2K18, WWE 2K19, which has the million dollar challenge, which I put the million dollar challenge sticker right there that was on the front case. Battleborn, this is where I ripped that thing out of. Never actually played Battleborn. Let me know if this game is good if you have played it. Cause mainly, if you, it looks like an Xbox exclusive, but it probably isn't to add it for PlayStation. But if it's from the same people who made Borderlands, if you are, because mainly gamers will probably watch this feel. If you're a gamer and you, even if you're not a full-time gamer, but you played this, let me know if it's any good. Dead by Daylight. Ooh, I need to get back into playing this game. This game is amazing. You could play it. Have Jason Voorhees in it. Well, not Jason Voorhees. Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Leatherface. They're all DLCs. I don't have them. But you can play as them if you're online. The people online, because this is an online only game. The people that go check out the video, Dead by Daylight video game collection playlist, guys. By the way, the game, if the video stops, I got. Those games. 2K16, 17, 18, 19, and Battleborn, which I want to know if it's any good. But Dead by Daylight. Destiny. I don't have Destiny 2. But there's Destiny. This is kind of new to the collection. Well, it is new. Madden 25, 1989 to 2014. This is Madden 14. I know it's old, but it's fo it's a Madden game. It's a it's a football game for Xbox One. Now here's an Assassin's Creed game I can now play. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now I said I played only Assassin's Creed Origins in the way of Xbox One. 
Assassin's Creed that came out only on Xbox One. Alien Isolation, which I recently got this back last week, I think. And Halo 5 Guardians. And that's it, guys. That's my updated Xbox collection video. By the way, I'm going to call this one you're watching right now part 2. Rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Peace.